Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have sounded the alarm on artificial intelligence. Mr. Musk called super intelligence humanity's greatest threat. You agree? Yeah, I'm, I am fearless of AI. And I'm, I'm an outlier and I recognize this. And you might even say, well, if I studied the problem more deeply, I would be as afraid as others, perhaps. But in my life, I've probably written 10,000 lines of computer code. Uh, I have some street cred in the com just conducting the science that I've done in my life. What I can tell you is when we imagine these AIs, we're thinking of some humanoid thing as though the human form is something to emulate. No, <laughs> no. If you have AI, you're going to task AI in very specific ways. If you go back to the era of the Jetsons, here's what they would imagine. Oh, instead of having you drive the car, have your robot drive the car. They're not thinking, have the car drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> so the car then is an expression of AI at some level. And so we, we parcel the AI, the Hubble telescope is an expression of AI. We program it and it does it. They're all worried about the general intelligence AI where it can deduce, uh, make decisions that you never programmed it to make. And I think that's a kind of cool thing if it can do that. I don't have a problem with it. But, and if it gets out of line, if it judges humans are a virus in this world in need of ex uh, extermination, in America, you could just shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> I can unplug it. I, I mean, I'm just bring it on. I'm, I'm ready for it. And on top of that, they're assuming in some parts of it that AI will achieve consciousness and thereby be self-driven. But we don't even understand our own consciousness. You're going to tell me we're going to create a machine that on its own achieves consciousness when we don't even understand it in ourselves? Um, no. Stop I'm, making so much sense. I'm chill. I'm totally chill with, with, is that even still a hip thing to say? Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.